Good day, everyone. I hope you guys are having a wonderful, wonderful Thursday. My name is Pastor Antonio Johnson. I am the senior pastor here at Bethel Baptist Church in Kannapolis, North Carolina. And because it is Thursday, that means that it is time for another Thursday's thought. And today we want to talk about overcoming anxiety, overcoming anxiety. A lot of times we get caught up in trying to figure things out. How is tomorrow going to turn out? What are we going to do about this problem? What are we going to do about that problem? But the truth of the matter is we're not supposed to be worried about tomorrow. We're supposed to live on daily bread. The Bible says to be anxious for nothing, but through prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your request be known unto God. So if we're going to overcome anxiety, the first thing we have to understand is the power of of prayer. When you pray about that thing, when you give it over to God, allow God to work it out. You don't have to pick it back up. You don't have to worry about that. Just trust in God. Understand that prayer still works. Prayer is not outdated. It is not antiquated, but prayer still works. So trust in the power of God. Not only that, if you're going to overcome anxiety, you have to understand the purpose of the process. Sometimes you're going through some things and you don't even know why you're going through it, but it is that thing in the process that is shaping you and preparing you for what God has for you. So you don't have to be anxious about it. Just know that even in the midst of your trials, even in the midst of your storms, even in the midst of your chaos, God still has control. He is still sovereign in your situation. So you overcome anxiety by making sure you understand the power of prayer by making sure you understand the purpose of the process but lastly you overcome anxiety by pinpointing the positives no matter what's going on in your life no matter how bad things may be you can still pinpoint the positives the good thing is today you still have breath in your body the good thing is you still have a roof over your head the good thing is the blessings are still flowing so even in the midst of your chaos don't be anxious about it. Just pinpoint the positives. Begin to count your blessings and also make your blessings count. Again, Pastor Johnson, Bethel Baptist Church, this has been my Thursday's thought. I hope you are blessed by it. Again, follow us on Facebook. Follow us on Instagram. Uh, we'll be happy to see you. Happy Thursday to you. God bless you.